Yeah. So uh, in our this food, uh, dairy and food products, uh, process and products technology, this is our 48th uh, class, right? This is our 48th class and uh, we will discuss today on milk, of course, that is the base. The, uh, milk is available in the market in different forms, liquid milk as what you get every day that we have dealt with elaborately that pasteurized homogenized uh, milk which we get everything we have said. Now, we shall we should know also what some other types of milk which are available in the market. Right? So, let us look into that and for that different milks which are available in the market, we can say that raw milk which is available as fresh unpasteurized milk straight from the cow which we used to get. I do not know how many of you have uh, gone to different uh, milkman and different milking places, uh, but in our childhood we had no other option other than going to those milkmen and uh, we used to get it directly from the cow there. So, that is the one which is even, I am not saying it is not true in urban, but in rural definitely it is still there, right. In rural India, it is definitely still there that people are going directly and buying milk from the milkman straight away from the cow. So, that is the one major part of, that is unorganized sector, but still a uh, huge volume of milk is uh, 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 is utilized or is uh, being supplied by the rural folk, right. So, another one is the whole milk which contains no less than 3.25 percent milk fat. So, minimum 3.25 percent milk fat. The other day we said, if you remember, that milk is uh, priced based on the fat content, primarily based on the fat content milk is priced, right. So, whole milk which we refer to is the milk which contains 3.25 percent milk fat. It must also contain not less than 8.25 percent solid not fat SNF right. This SNF must be again not less than 8.25 percent. Almost whole milk marketed is also fortified with vitamin. Nowadays when you get milk when it is in the market you will see that it is fortified. Fortification means adding, ex adding externally for the good cause, right? Adding, adding externally for the good cause is called fortification, right? That can be with vitamin, that can be with minerals, that can be with protein or that can be with anything. So, anything which you are adding for the good cause, for the good health, for the betterment of the product, to improve the product selling, to improve the product uh, not only quality, but its value, then it is called fortification. So, nowadays you get also fortified milk and primarily with vitamins fortified, vitamin A or vitamin D, they are fortified. Then low fat milk, which has sufficient, which has sufficient milk fat to remove to bring the levels of 0.5 and 2 percent, right. So, low milk fat 
this also has different names. So, we said 0.5 or 2 percent as it is available in the market. It, it uh, also contains at least 8.25 percent solid not fat and it must also contain around 200 international unit of vitamin A per kg of the milk. 2000 not 100 sorry 2000 international unit of vitamin A per kg of milk that is also mandatory right. Vitamin A is added to offset its loss caused by the removal of some of the fat because vitamin A and D they are fat soluble right vitamin A and D are fat soluble. So, and milk contains enough I mean good quantity of vitamins both A and D. So, if is it is particularly A if it is removed if the fat is removed then along with fat this vitamin is also removed from the milk. So, that is why externally this vitamin A is added to the tune of 1000 international unit IU. So, that the loss of vitamin is compensated due to the, the when you are removing the fat that time this vitamin uh, fortification can remove the loss of vitamin right. So, you can find milk in this category labeled they are 1 low fat, 2 2 percent milk, 3 1 percent milk and this low fat could be 0.5 percent milk right which we have already said right. So, that is for low fat milk. Another one is skim milk which is available and this is also content this also called non fat milk right and it has sufficient milk fat removed to bring the level to the tune of 0.5 percent of fat. It also should contain 8.25 percent solid not fat and must be fortified with vitamin A. This is also mandatory by the regulations of the milk authority. Uh, this kind of definitions are introduced otherwise anybody can sell anything. So, you have you have removed fat. So, you have removed vitamins fat soluble vitamins. So, you are depriving the customer. So, that if you so that you cannot deprive customer the authority regulatory authorities they have made this mandatory or this kind of uh, cap on the on the on the uh, on vitamin or solid not fat or fat content of the of the milk right. So, skim milk is like that. Then some other milk like chocolate milk right. Obviously, from the name chocolate milk it is appeared that you must have chocolate fortification or chocolate addition right. So, that the flavor taste could be similar to the chocolate. So, that is a chocolate milk in many countries this is popular right. So, this is made by adding chocolate or cocoa and sweetener to 2 percent milk that is why that we said different milk. So, this 2 percent milk is used for chocolate milk right. So, you are adding externally chocolate or cocoa so that you get the chocolate flavored milk. It must be fortified also with vitamin A 
and addition of vitamin D is optional. Since you are removing fat, again you supplement the vitamins with externally addition, externally adding vitamin A and vitamin D, you are supplementing the loss, you are compensating the loss due to the removal of fat because you have brought down fat content to 2 percent and then you have added chocolate or cocoa and so vitamin A and D uh, either vitamin A only or vitamin A and D if you D is optional but A is not optional A is a mandatory right that has to be added for chocolate milk right then eggnog right this is uh, another name eggnog right so this eggnog says that it is a mixture of milk egg sugar and cream so all four together milk egg sugar and cream they are in a combination forming the eggnog and this it may be also contain added flavor such as rum extract or nutmeg or vanilla. So, depending on who is liking which flavor, so these are the flavors which may be added like rum extract or nutmeg or vanilla to this right. So, basically it is a that igna is a, a combination of milk, egg, sugar and cream along with flavoring compound or flavoring materials like extract from the uh, rum or maybe from nutmeg or maybe from vanilla these are added externally so that the flavor is according to the choice or liking of the customer. So, it is seasonal product and most readily available during holidays right. So, depending on liking area etcetera typically in, in, in developed countries because their choices are many. So, that is why the we are we, we do not see in our country so much other than in typical uh, cities in big cities rather a great city is typical. So, you may get it is not of course, uh, can be said emphatically that you will get, but it is available in our country also where uh, because it, it depends on the taste and liking of the people right. Uh, all over the world definitely your food habits, food liking are I mean human dependent on human right. It is not necessarily that what you like has to be liked by me or what I like has to be liked by you that is why so many varieties, so many things have been developed all over the world right. This is one such eggnog ok. Then non fat dry milk right from the word non fat dry milk dry of course, that means moisture is not there it is dried and non fat that is you have already removed the fat that is skim. So, non fat dry milk is another one which is the uh, dried skim milk also it can be called. So, is the product obtained by removal of water only from the pasteurized skim milk. So, pasteurized skim milk pasteurization here is required because you have killed all the pathogen. 
and during drying process there could be some more killing of the organisms, but pathogen killing has to be ensured that is why pasteurization is minimum that you have done pasteurization and skim milk is the basis from which you are making it right. Then butter milk. So, this is another which is butter milk made by adding a special bacterial culture to milk to produce desirable acidity, desirable body, desirable flavor and desirable aroma uh, characteristic of the product right. That is the characteristic of the product butter milk which you are getting from fermentation by adding some culture right known culture which you know that this will develop this much of acidity and the body will be like this flavor and aroma will be these. So, you can uh, tell that to be a special bacterial culture is added to the milk to produce the acidity body flavor aroma of the characteristic product that is the butter milk. So, this concentrate is the is then homogenized ok you have mixed them and you have cultured then it is homogenized then sorry then then uh, is homogenized and then fortified with vitamin D packed in cans sealed and then sterilized by heat right. So, you are canning and sterilizing. I do not know whether I have told you earlier, I do not remember if I had told then a repetition, but I can stop telling since it has come. A canning is such a product, is such a process, it is not only in milk, not only in liquid food, but also in solid foods. Many you might have seen uh, canned uh, juices you might have seen canned uh, pineapples, canned mango, canned rasgulla, these are available in the market. Now, this canning is altogether a different industry, where the cans are basically, uh, I, I remember I had told okay, quickly that uh, from different sheets, right, from different sheets, metal sheets they are made and the cans depending on your size whether it is half kg or 1 kg according to that the volume is taken up and 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 there is no no welding or there is no uh, sealing this sealing is done by the seaming this process is called S A M I N G seeming that you have taken a sheet and that sheet you have made a fold like this. I hope I had said uh, like this. Another sheet you have taken and made a fold like this. So, you have two such and then this you have made this is one right, this is one and this is another. So, this four you have made like this and now pressed. So, with some pressing element you have pressed. So, all these four layers 1, 2, 3, 4 all these four layers are then pressed and it becomes lick proof. That is the that is the uniqueness of the uh, tin uh, can rather right. Can containers are never sealed with welding or any other heat selling method. This is exactly like that and by seaming this is done and uh, 
products are inside. It is in it, it is so nice that there is no usually I am not saying abnormally usually there is no way that externally something will come in or from internal something will go out right and you have seen that these cans are available for years together maybe one year two year there is there is no such uh, limitation that within such and such time this has to be right though though in a sense it is mandatory when you are selling a uh, selling a product in an enclosure so that enclosure must have the date of manufacture and date of uh, expiry so expiry will be written but generally it is many years or couple of years right okay so that is how this sterilized and uh, canned things are available right then sweetened condensed milk sweetened condensed milk is another item which is a canned whole milk concentrate prepared by evaporating enough water under vacuum from fresh whole milk it reduce the volume by half from fresh whole milk the volume of the milk is reduced roughly to the half that is what the concentration is made right so whatever you had the volume is made to half and uh, it is concentrated be prepared by evaporation and 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 uh, enough quantity of water is 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 removed under vacuum right this is sweetened condensed milk it is pasteurized and sugar is added to prevent spoilage so in this case sugar acts as the as the preservative sugar acts as the preservative so sugar is added and that is why it is sweetened also it serves both the purposes number 1 it is sweetening and number 2 it is acting as a preservative right and original milk is 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 boiled off or rather the moisture is removed to the uh, level of 50% right is made to half that's what we said right so this way and it is pasteurized it is pasteurized because pasteurization is a must uh, to ensure the removal of all the pathogen right then whipping cream there are different forms different names of creams available in the different named and the fat contents are also different so that those are that this whole milk this is from the whole milk heavy cream that contains a minimum of 36% fat right as minimum of 36% fat in the cream then light whipping cream that contains around 30 to 36% fat right light light whipping cream that also contains around 30 to 36% fat so heavy cream is around uh, minimum 36% or more and uh, light whipping is 30 to 36 so depending on the fat content their naming are also different right then half and half right a blend of milk and cream this is called half and half a blend of milk and cream that is 10 to 12% fat this contains 10 to 12% that is half up right half and half a blend of milk and cream which contains 10 to 12% fat so fat content is very high you know 
generally in ice cream, ice cream is also called uh, heavy fat. That is why all over the world nowadays, since people have become very much cautious and, uh, and uh, the fat content of the ice cream also reduced. But generally, ice cream also do contain around 10 to 12 percent fat. So, that is heavy fat. So, half half that is why it is called half and half is a blend of milk and the cream which to, together forms 10 to 12 percent of the fat. Right? Then sour cream, sour cream which has 18 percent fat is very high fat, 18 percent fat and is cream is and is cream that has been soured by lactic acid bacteria, right. So, already you have lot of fat and it is also soured. So, the souring has been made by incorporating or, or, or inoculating, this is the word inoculating lactic acid forming bacteria and this inoculum that is lactic acid forming bacteria makes the milk sour which is liked by many people. You will think are a, why it has become sour so the milk is spoiled may not be. The many people may like that sour milk. So, they for them this milk is uh, typically uh, made by the fermentation of uh, lactic acid forming bacteria and they this is called LAB lactic acid forming bacteria LAB right. So, they form lactic acid and makes the milk sour right. So, souring of milk is done by typically lactic acid, but the fat content is very high it is 18 percent right 18 percent we have said cream to be around 30 to 36 percent that is light whipping or heavy whipping cream. So, 18 percent is may not be equal, but is not so less. So, very high fat content that is why maybe to make it palatable people would like to have it in a in a, in, in a form of sour. So, in sour form so they would like to have. So, that is why this lactic acid forming bacteria is added. So, that acid is formed and it becomes sour right. Then another one is called yogurt. <coughs> yogurt is very popular all over the world. This is also another which is a fermented product of milk, right? Milk fermented, and uh, this is by uh, fermentation of milk produced uh, where it is like a custard. I don't know whether you have ha you have ever had custard. Uh, it is a consistency is uh, like the custard like its consistency is like custard, but this is also a one fermented one where this some organisms are added. So, that the desired flavor acidity is developed and and the consistency becomes equivalent to the custard like things right that is the uh, we, which we call yogurt and this yogurt is popular in in our uh, our country it is more popular in the cities uh, i don't know about the interior of the villages but uh, cities it is available you get many types of yogurt right and it is made by fermenting partially skim milk right Partially skim milk, it is made from that with special acid forming bacteria. So, that is what 
that acid is being formed by the acid forming organism and they make the acid and the flavor right. So, we with this today we, we, we complete or finish the class because time is no more. So, in the next class let us see what we can discuss and uh, complete ok. Thank you.